today we are going to be um, doing part one of our new book, Jimmy Lee Jones' Boss of Lunch. So as you all know, I already read this to you like a year ago. Like exactly, like in this month, a year ago, I read this to you guys. But as you all know, it's kind of weird because I have two different channels. This is my channel that's really famous. My other one only has five videos on it, and it's because of this. And I have three subscribers on it, which I'm not worried about that channel. And I was like so, like I read it all at once. Like I was like so, I loved doing read alouds back then. And then now I'm like, why did I read it all at once? And, oh my gosh, I think I have a hair in my mouth. Uh, I remember, uh, this is gross, from my video. Okay, oh my gosh. Never mind. So, oh my gosh, this is bothering me. Like, it itches. It itches. Okay, anyway. So the last time, now I'm like, why did I read it all at once? Chapters at a time are way better. And back then I used to use my vlogging camera. And now... And then my dad had to help me upload those videos back then because I made them with my vlogging camera on my old channel. But now it's so easy to upload them. You just have to hit the plus sign, and then you have to write the title, and then you have to just um, post it. Oh, I mean, my dad had helped me at first, like when I start, first started knowing. And I was like, this is my first time doing this channel. And, I, and, and the camera was like backwards. So literally all I could see now is it's backwards. It's backwards right now on camera. But it's not going to be on camera for you guys. But it would stay that way. Alright, so let's get started. Because I don't want to keep talking. Alright. Jimmy B. Jones, Boss of Lunch. Book 19. By Barbara Park, illustrated by Denise Blancas. Chapter 1, Not Normal. Thursday, Dear First Grade Journal. Hooray, hooray, it came, it finally came. Yesterday, the delivery man brought it right to my house. And today, I carried it to school for the very first time. Right now, it is sitting under my desk. I keep sneaking down there to see it closer. But my teacher just said to please stop doing that. Only, guess what? He is not even watching me right now. So I think I will sneak down there one more time. And that will be it. Possibly. I wish myself good luck. From Junie B. First Grader. I put down my pencil and looked all around. Room 1 was still writing in their journals. I smiled very sneaky. Then I bent over in my chair real slow. And I reached way down. And I lifted up the lid of my brand new shiny lunchbox, hollered out May. Junie Jones just opened her lunchbox again, Mr. Scary, and you told her not to do that anymore. Remember? May is the tattletale girl who sits next to me. I do not actually care for her. My heart pounded very hard. I bent over even more. And I hid my head so my teacher couldn't see me. Only, I didn't do a good job of hiding, I guess. Because just then, I heard Mr. Scary's shoes walking toward me. Junie B, why is your lunchbox open again? Asked Mr. Scary, didn't I just... Speak to you about this a few minutes ago? I kept my head down and I looked at the floor. One of Mr. Scary's shoes started tapping on me. 
Tappy shoes are not happy shoes, I think. Junie B, said Mr. Scary again. Do you have a good reason for opening your lunchbox again? I quit, closed my eyes and tried to think of a good reason. Mr. Scary's shoe tapped louder. I opened my eyes and peeked at it. And then, bingo! All of a sudden, a miracle happened. One of my eyes saw my napkin in the corner of my lunchbox, and a bright idea popped right into my head. I quick grabbed the napkin, and I started shining Mr. Scary's shoes. Look, Mr. Scary, look! Here is my good reason. I said, see me? Huh? I am shining your shoes with my napkin. See? I shined and shined. This is the smartest reason I ever came up with. I said very proud. I smiled at him. Would you like some spit on the napkin? I asked real nice. A little spit makes shoes look extra gleamy. Mr. Scary quick pulled his shoe away. No, Junie B, no spit, please. Just sit up, he said. I sat up. Mr. Scary stared and stared at me. I wiggled in my seat very uncomfortable. Because staring teachers make me squirmy, of course. Finally, Mr. Scary talked again. I want you to stay out of your lunchbox, Junie B, he said. We have a rule in room one. Lunch boxes are to be opened only in the cafeteria. I did a sad sigh. Yes, I said. I know the rule, Mr. Scary, but I waited a real long time to get this lunch box. And yesterday, it finally came to my house. And so today is my first day of not carrying a plain brown sack to school. And so every time I look at that new lunch box, I feel happy inside. I picked it up to show him. See how cute it is? I said. My mother ordered it from a nature store. It has pictures of baby birds on it. See all of them? I pointed. This one is my favorite. I said. It is called an owlet. Owlet is the name for a baby owl. My grandpa Frank Miller told me that. I pointed at a different bird. That one is an eaglet, I said. An eaglet is a baby eagle. After that, I held my lunchbox way high in the air so all room one could see it. See all the birdlets, children? There are owlets and eaglets and ducklets and chicklets, I explained. I put my lunchbox on my desk and I took out the thermos. And see this thermos, people? This thermos has pictures of bird nests on it. Isn't that cute? May made a face. Ick, she said. Who wants to drink out of a stinky, pooey bird's nest? I made a face at her. I do. That's who. May, I said. I love drinking out of stinky, pooey birds bird's nest. May reached into her desk and pulled out a lunch ticket. Well, I buy my lunch, Junie Jones, she said. Bought lunches are much better than brought lunches. Bought lunches don't sit around all morning and get soggy. I crossed my arms at that girl. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard of, May, I said right back. Brought lunches are way better than bought lunches because brought lunches are made special by our very own mothers. Mr. Scary did a frown. Okay, okay, girls, that's enough. He said, but May kept on arguing with me. 
For your information, Junie Jones, mothers are not professional lunch makers, she said. Mothers are just plain old normal people. I stamped my foot at her, because that was my final straw. Do not call my mother normal, May, I hollered. No one in my whole entire family is normal. So there. May started to laugh. Then some of the other children laughed too. I do not know why. Finally, Mr. Scary snapped his fingers at them. I put my lunchbox back on the floor. It was not my best morning. All right, well, that was chapter one of Junie Lee Jones' Boss of Lunch, and let's talk a little bit about that chapter. So it looks like Junie B. Jones and May got in a little fight because um, they're thinking what's better, brought lunches or bought lunches. In my opinion, um, I would think that, um, I would think, I, I know I, May's kind of mean, but I actually think that she's right. I kind of think that um, bought lunches are better. I know she's kind of mean and stuff, but I still think that bought lunches are kind of better than brought lunches. So today's comment is, comment down below, what's better, brought lunches or bought lunches? Bought lunches are like when you buy them at school, and brought lunches are like when you use a lunchbox. All right, well, that was chapter one of Junie B. Jones' Boss of Lunch, and I would still be reading if I was on my last year's channel. All right, but until I see you guys, stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye.